Welcome back folks, uh, this is lesson number nine and today I thought we'd do something different again. So I've chosen this time a church which is quite close to where I live, it's called Haveringland Church. It's about 12th century so it's, it's, it's quite old and it's, it's a Saxon church, we can tell that with a round tower and uh, we, we'll paint it sort of late summer time and we can, we can uh, uh, just indicate to where it is and, and the sort of indicate one or two lines here to indicate what we're going to do with the front of the field and that. The colours are on the top, which is the same as yesterday, so it's, it's amazing what you can do with these few colours we've got. And there's the ochre or the raw sienna, the French ultramarine, and then the French ultramarine plus the burnt umber, and then a very weak mix of alizarin crimson. So I'll take that off there and let's start painting, shall we? Right, we'll get that out of the way. And first thing I want to do is, uh, it, it's a lot, of, a lot of activity around this corner here. So it'd be nice if we, we, we put a cloud formation up that top corner, that, that'd balance it down a bit. So let's try that. So first of all, we've got some clean water. I just want to randomly, randomly put it on the sky. I don't know, whoops, be careful there. I want to sort of, uh, what's that there? Just try and mind the church. Just wet in certain areas in the sky, in certain areas it'll remain dry. So we'll see how we go with that. Right, let's put some sunshine in first. And the, the light today is coming from top left, which is which is lovely. We know where it's coming from, so, so we can do something about it, can't we? We know where the shadows are. Let's, let's sort of put some sunshine in here. Twiddle it round a bit. The next colour I want to put on, I want to put on some I'll put that touch of touch of lizard and crimson in the in the base first, just to let, let's sort that out. Just to soften the sky there. Just a touch along the horizon here. down to our horizon line, or our eye level, and then stop by the church there. So that, that's, that's established the bottom part of the sky. Now let's sort out this top part. I don't know, what should we go right if we get to that, against that church there. Right, let's just see what we're doing here. To touch out of there. Right, now the next one I want to pop in is some French ultramarine. That lovely, lovely blue colour we've got. Let's drop some of that in. Make it a lovely sky, shall we? Just randomly again. Pop it in. Closing the top down. You can leave some specks of white if you like. That's, that's edges, edges of clouds. Of course you can get some cloud formations, you can introduce some this sort of things down at the base of the sky there, just to soften that. Just This is the ultramarine, you just flick it in there and you're forming your forming cloud formation if you like, which is, which is quite nice. So you're deciding what's happening as you're going along. And I promise you a sort of a, a darkish area of sky in the top left hand corner to balance that work the church in that which is down at the bottom right so let's put us some put some this is the nine and five that this is the uh, the uh, ultramarine and burnt umber so let's let's darken this corner for a bit shall we looks like there's a there's a storm coming here i want to i want to get that storm coming Just 
If I, what you can do with this, if you've got a, a brush sometimes, you, you can roll that brush, see? It sometimes helps to just roll it a bit. That'll, that'll shape some of your, your corner there. Darken that corner, as I said, I promise that dark corner for you. Let's get it down here, bring it down here. See where we go from there. Wash the brush out. And let's see if we can soften some of these edges here. Take that water out of there. So it'd be nice if we had some areas of shadow, if you like, on the, these cloud formations in the distance there. That's, it's still the same colour, use it, in order to sort of form the edge of the the edge of the shadow side of the, these these clouds here just indicating where they are it's nice just to give it a when it's in the shade there it, it gets it gets all shadowy doesn't it so even put some down here like this Yeah, that cloud there. I think it'd be nice if I, if I put this dark, this dark cloud by the church there. That, that'll make that stand out as well. I think I'll do that. Just flick it in there. So it's, it's, it, it could be a dodgy day, this, the way, th way things are working out. But we'll see. We'll see how it works. That's what I like about my painting. It, it I, I never know what I'm, what I'm going to finish it with. That's what I like. I can plan it so far, but then things happen. That's the bit I like. So these clouds are all gathering. important to get the sky right because that's, that's a big part of our painting isn't it in fact if you get a tissue just get, you can tissue it to, to, to this out if you like if you're not happy with it <coughs> take some of that out <coughs> when you've taken it out put a touch of shadows on the under, underside of it just flick it over there So if, if I don't write any more on there, I'm, I'm fiddling, so, so I'm not going to do that. That's, that's just just the letters for that area there. Of course, I work at 15 degrees on the, 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 the slope of the board is 15 degrees, which takes the water down to the bottom of that. And if you have it flat, by the way, it tends to uh, go back on itself, the, the colour and the water. And of course, that, that's when you get, you've seen these pictures with like a cauliflower effect. Well, that's what causes it, when the water runs back on itself. So if you get that slope, it all helps to sort of stop that happening, which is, which is smashing. Right, that's the sky done. Now what I want to do is, uh, while it's still wet, I can put in some distant trees just there, just to, to give it some softness. And this, is, this is the ultramarine blue again. Let's pop, pop, pop something in the distance up here. So. Just it's just a backdrop if you like. Just indicating sort of stuff that's stuff that's in the distance and you can hardly see it. That'll do. And then what I want to do now is as I come forward, I can make that put a bit more dark heat, use that, that sky colour up there and put a touch more on that. Darken them down a bit. Like 
that's fine. I think the best thing I can do now is it's, it's a bit wet, so I'm going to have to dry this. I do apologise for using the air dryer, but it, it does quicken things up a bit for me. I think that uh, that should be dry enough to work on now. Oh yes, yeah, we're all right there. Right, so what I want to do now is the, these these trees here, are sort of surrounding the, the, the church. There's, there's, there's some at the back there. I'll put those in first. And uh, these are sort of a, the green. So I'm going to use uh, some cadmium yellow. Right, I'll try and show you the mix on this. Cadmium yellow, just there. and a touch of Windsor Blue there. But I don't want it too strong because it's in the background. So we can pop, pop some of this in here, like this. There's a tree here in the foreground, so I'll just Pop around that. So I didn't need much much green there, I just pop that in. And that by doing that, it's pushed that blue back, you see. And it's put it behind the green tree, which is which is what I want. And of course, where's the light coming from? It's coming from the top left, isn't it? So I can darken the underside of those trees like this. Because that's away from the light. That'll soften those down a bit. That's it. Don't no detail on it. Just just a, a touch of shape like that. Now this side we can put some some other green in. Let's have put a bit more cadmium yellow in. Into that. A touch more winds of blue in that, and let's see what we've got here. Of course, because I've mixed it separately, I get a different green, don't I? Which is which is lovely. That's what I want. First thing I want to do is do that background one. There's a background one here. It's a bit strong, that. A bit too much liquid. This is sort of twiddling behind these bushes here. There's, there's a little little bit of a cottage or something. Just just a, there. Actually, it's a, it's a farm building. It's not it's not uh, it's not your B and Q. It's it's a, a the store here in it and stuff like that. It's a lovely spot to paint this, by the way. It, it really is. And I say it's, it's about 12th century, and uh, it, it, it's 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 it is what it was in in the fields like this it is now. But some time ago, during the war, it was uh, it, it was all, all uh, concreted around, and it was a, an airfield for the 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 uh, Spitfires and that. And it's 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 got a lovely history. In fact, in the in the graveyard is the is a, is a grave of two airmen who sadly died there. And and even to today, the local parishioners keep those graves immaculate, which I think is nice. That after all those years, it's lovely. And of course, I know the, a lot of these people personally because I, I, I come painting these, this area quite a lot. In fact, no, I should, one day I actually rang the bell for them. And that's more difficult than it sounds. But uh, the, the, the verger, who, who usually he was, he was on holiday somewhere, and this, this old lady, we were having a chat as I was outside. And uh, she just mentioned it. I said, well, don't we have a go? And uh, I, I had a go, but I didn't make a very good job of it, I'll tell you. 
And then at the end of it, when I finished ringing this bell, she said, well, that's lovely, that bird. She says, it's an hour early and I've all, all the parishioners will be coming to, coming early. So I made a right pig's ear of it. Not to worry, I enjoyed it. Anyway, I digress. This is an, a, a green, this is sort of giving us a, a, a tree, a bushy, bushy area. Behind the church. Take it to the end there. And it's nice to, uh, to have use on that, that umber and French of in there, because this is the dark area, isn't it? This is where it goes dark. Because it's against the light, it's in shade. We need that. So touch around here like this. And uh, Leave that for a bit. I'll put it a bit, bit darker there. Let's give it a bit more. It's wet, so it's soaking it in. And then, uh, just here, there's, a, there's like a little bit, bit part of a cornfield. So we'll stick, we'll stick that cornfield in there. This, this is the raw sienna or ochre, if you like. Let's let's pop that in here. Which is lovely there. And I think I think what I'll, I'll do at this stage, I'll, uh, this area, I say, it's, 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 it's been uh, harvested, if you like, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll show the area of the harvest. In fact, what we'll do, we'll, we'll, we'll put some colour into this here. I like getting it, getting it, the, get rid of the white. Once we get rid of the white, we we can see what we're doing then. This is just an undercoat. I don't like to say undercoat when Carol's about. She's she's just thinking about this, painting this kitchen again. I'm not having that. Right, let's see where we're going. Now that, you see that bit there, I've made a mistake, and it's, that, that green is still wet and it's bleeding into, the, into this colour. So what I'll have to do, as I say, you get it wrong, so you try and put it right. So take that green out, there, like that, and re read the, this colour again. Get away with it. See? There's more ways of killing a pig than cutting its throat. So that's, that's, that's done. That's done. I'm going to dry that a little bit because I want to put one or two more trees in before we get up to that background. Now there's some nice bushes in the foreground here, in front of that shed. Oh, I'll put the shed in while, while we're working. And it's got a, a, a pantile roof. Lots of pantile in, in, in Norfolk, by the way. The way it came across, it, 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 this came across from Normandy, when the Norman conquest was on. The pantiles were actually ballast for the stone. Or so I'm told. Don't quote me, but uh, that's that's what I'm told. Uh, and of course, uh, Norfolk people are very canny. And what they did, they said, oh, well, we, we can use this, I'm sure we can. So yeah, that's why you see a lot of pantile roofs in Norfolk. You didn't think it was going to be educational, did you, this? And anyway, that's, that's a little, little build in there. And we want, in front of this, we want a, a nice, a nice hedge, a, a, a rich hedge, this. This is the uh, cadmium yellow, and a nice, a nice hedge, which is, it's, it's going to be in front of all this, of what we've got there. So let, let's start it just here. 
You see this, the difference in green there, and it's a stronger green, and, and of course cadmium yellow is opaque, which will allow you to paint on top of another colour, which is, which is quite useful. So that's, that's popping down there. I'll be careful around this shed or it'll, it'll bleed. That's lovely. What have I touched down here as well? Just, a, just so it goes into the distance. He gives it, it gives it a bit more depth, and of course, I, I do like to put in some shadows on the underside every time, because bushes and that are shady underneath. So we, we're going to get it shady, aren't we? Like that. So don't forget them. And of course, because the colour is stronger, aerial perspective, as they call it, has brought that colour. This this particular bush edge is bought in front of the other one which which is just what we want because we want to give it uh, the three-dimensional look so the darks in the bottom there there that bit's all right now we can leave that uh, the shed can stay there for a while and uh, what I want to do I'll, I'll put some I don't, this is a bit wishy-washy there, so I might put a little bit of a touch of colour into that one then. So, just on this side here, let's drop in some in bushes just here. That'll do. Down the underside again, where the shadows are. It's always dark down there. Of course, the light's coming from the left, so the right hand side will be dark as well, won't it? So that, that, that's sorting our background out, isn't it? We're, we, we're all right there now. And I think I'll, I'll let this dry a bit, and perhaps we'll, well I, I can't wait. I'm going to I'm gonna have to use the hair dryer again, sorry, to get to move us on quickly. to do now is, is put an undercoat, or if we want to do a better word, on the church. So the, the colour I'm using is that, is that raw sienna or ochre, which is, is a, it's a lovely colour and it's, it's, it, it, it gives it a nice sunny glow. So we'll put some of that on there and see how we go. So we can paint, let's paint this in here. The roof, by the way, is, is a dark roof. So I better not paint on the roof. This is this is the buttresses. I think they're called buttresses. These things here. Well, let's go over the window. We'll sort that out in a minute. In fact, this is a, this is the the wall around the churchyard. Pillars in the corner there. All over here, this is all the same, same stone, or oh, it's actually flint. All on the wall. I said this is just the undercoat, so don't, don't worry about it, we're just, we, we can sculpture it later. It's just getting it, getting it looks, looks as though we're doing something. 
there that's coming down there and now we're going to fit in the tower which is it's a lovely tower in fact there, there's a I once had a chap on, on, on one of my courses and we were out painting this, this area and we were painting this church and uh, it, one of the windows at the bottom had a sort of, it was not flint, they'd repaired it with, with bricks and I thought, you know, house bricks, I thought, that looks a bit dodgy. Anyway, I thought, what well, it is, probably some, somebody that's done it cheap, you know, recently. Anyway, it turns out, he says, no, it's what, what it is, it's those bricks there of 14th century. He said the repair was done then. So I thought, well, that's fascinating. So they had, they had, they had uh, sort of dodgy builders even then. 14th century. And he, he was Clarker Works, listed building London, that's where he was, he was a nice fella. And he, he was responsible for the houses, Parliament, and all this, and put the central eating. He was a fascinating chap to, to talk to. So I've met some lovely people as I've, as I've gone, gone through life. And I remember the stories, you know, which is nice. So that, that, that's got the undercoat on that. Oh, just that bit of the, the church wall. Yeah, those graves are just, just in, 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 the, in the inside there, and they're, they're so lovely they are. I think the, the, the chaps were only about 20, 22. And this, this, was, this, this was literally concrete over it. Was a, it was an airfield. The mosquito bombers were there. So it, it, it is fascinating history, isn't it? Right, so that, that tower is still wet. So what I'm going to do on the, on the, uh, the right-hand side, why the right-hand side? Because that's in shade. I'm going to put a touch of... This one here. Just we sell it's still wet, you see, so it's it's what it will it'll creep that colour will creep round the round the tower and make it look circular what it is. It is circular. Secular and circular. How about that? So so that that's it, it gives it a little bit of shape. No, no, I'm going to let that dry a bit now because we can't twiddle with it while it's, while it's like that. Uh, I have to keep using the hairdryer because I want to speed up a bit. Now the roof is, is like a, a, a slate colour, a slate grey, so I want the slate grey. Well that, that ultramarine and uh, burnt timber, if you get you test it out, you can get a nice slate grey with that. So don't, don't start worrying about different colours, we can do it with that. That's a good colour. Look. I hope you're enjoying these pictures because I am, and and let's say we're locked down, so so it gives us something to do instead of going crackers, which is nice. It gets me out of Carol's hair, which she's she's I'm sure she's grateful. Uh, she's she's a good lass, you know, and, and I, I can honestly say we 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 only. We've only had one. We've been married sixty-four years this 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 year, and we've only had one argument. And it, that's a and it, it started at the wedding reception. And it's still going on, so uh, we, we we're quite close. Now, this this has got. I, I, I do remember this. This has got uh, some uh, moss growing on it. This 
So it's, it's not it's not your usual. So it's got some greens on there as well. So I'll slip stop some touches of green in this, which which is it's nice and on the slope there. Doesn't look so B and Q then, does it? We take the take the colour off. Right, that that'll do for now. And uh, in fact, what what I can do when I'm when I'm messing them out there, I'll put some windows in. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? So um, I've got the same. I'm using the same colour again. That's the ultramarine, the burnt umber. It's amazing what you can do with this colour, I tell you. You can, you can get away it's cheap, it's, it's pay, these colours, you, get, you don't need many colours, I tell you. Right, let, let's pop a, pop a couple of windows in here. Isn't that little chisel brush is nice? Put that in there. Now I can't use it on that other one because it's there. Too big, so I'll have to use the rigger. Use the rigger. I'll put a couple of dots up here. I say I can't. I can't put every painted glass in it. It's but these are just just put the church some some down this side here. Put a bit of a curve on that one. Now we'll get these done. Steady hand helps on this. And of course, it's the, the light's coming from the left, isn't it? So the edge of these these castellations, oh, that's a good word. Will, will be in shade, won't they? Just there. So I'll pop them in. You'll not see much on that one. That's in sun, you see a touch on that there. And of course it's got a sort of a ridge along there. Right, there was another window there. In fact this is that window that, uh, that, that was repaired in the 14th century, this one. The right pig's area that they did. Not very good at all. And now the door, I'll pop the door in. That, the door, inside the door there will be all, because it's in shade, it'll be, it'll be all shady in there. Just there. We get in there. That'll, that'll do for now. I'm going to start fiddling. So that's just, just to do that. Let's just dry them off a bit. So look, oh I know what we're doing. In the churchyard, uh, just here, and here, and here, and here, are some uh, yew trees. The old yew, they were very, very popular in the, in the, in the, uh, the ancient days. They used to put the yew trees in, and what it did, it, it kept the, uh, it, well, the, the, the cows don't like them. And I, I, I mean, I'm not like talking. I might be talking rubbish here, but uh, but this is what I'm told that the 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 poisonous to the cows. So obviously they don't eat them, do they? 
So that's I think that's one of the reasons they they, they put it in the in the uh, in the churchyard and church and that to, because they don't want them to sort of sort of stamp over the graves and stuff like that. But it's nice to to have sort of a this one's got a lovely I like this dark here. And of course what that'll do it'll it'll frame the edge of that church, won't it? If I've gone a bit dodgy there, so I'll, I'll go up a bit with that, that tree. That'll straighten that, that edge off a bit. And of course it's like this. It's a real juicy dark. Mind that buttress down here. Around that. And then down to the... Down to the... Uh, the churchyard. Flick it on the edge. Like that. Now it's difficult to put dark in this because it's really dark to start with. But uh, well, we'll have a go and see what see what, what see what happens. So that's that's our our you or it could be a, one of these conifer things, you know. It's, uh, but what it's done, it's closed that corner down a bit. And these uh, there's another one just here, which is nice. Uh, this is just mind that roof there. It comes down here, and it's twiddling like that. And mind the buttress. That's down here. That's given us a, a, a couple of. It's, it's, it's close to church down here, which, which is quite nice. And these two here are like conifers. If I remember rightly, I mean it's been a while since I've been down there, is uh, that they're these golden conifers. So I want to paint these golden. That cadmium yellow is a lovely colour to do it with, with a touch of blue, just a touch of blue in here. And that's it's opaque, so it's going to cover what's behind it, which is what I want. And that'll just go up there like that. Another one here, I think one's slightly bigger than the other. So we'll have I mean these places where, where I'm painting, you know, you, you, if you if you're in Norfolk, the Norfolk ones, you you can go and visit them. They're uh, they're not made up. <laughs> they're real real places. Right, that's got the it's got the I've got to put a dark on there because it's to give them some shape. Let's put some darks on this side. Away from the light, don't forget. We've got our dark. That's what gives our, our paintings the three-dimensional look. Most important. See, so you don't need much, much, much to mix. It's only used to just a touch there, but it, it just darkens that down a bit there. It might seem a bit messy, but, but that's, it, it, it works. There. That, uh, that, that distant cornfield, that, that's, that's gone a bit dodgy. I think I should, I'll, I'll try and restate that if I can. Give it more, a uh, bit more. That's better. Mind that middle bit. There. That's better. That'll do. And just uh, th there's a tree here as well. So uh, that, that won't put it in. We ought to pop that in really. Uh, but I think before we do that, I'll, I'll, I'll have a go with this foreground here because it's, it's, there's, there's a big expanse of it. And it's it's uh, corn, if you like. So let's mix some corn, shall we? This is uh, I'm mixing this okra or, or raw sienna, whichever you've got. Which 
which is nice to have some of this. Restate some of these colours here. Look at this, this is better. This will bring it forward, won't it? Because I put you some lines on there to, to, to indicate the where it's been it's been harvested. And those, if if we give that some some detail on them, them lines, it'll also take the eye to the important bit, which is the church, isn't it? So we should get that as well. Again, it's all furnished in, it's all in. So that's, that's, that's speeded that up a bit. Now what I want to, I want to put some, some darks in here as well. This is the, the burnt umber on its own. That, that's lovely stuff. While it's still wet, we can sort of put in some, perhaps some twiddly lines down here like this. Up. With the finished ploughing, you know, and, and uh, well, harvesting, I think they leave the stubble in, don't they? I just as I remember this place, what I used to like about going there when it's quiet, I used to go on my own. Uh, there was three three fields all round, and I used to get uh, the, the skylarks hovering over the fields. It, it it's it's beautiful. Uh, you don't seem to get many of these skylarks these days. I don't know where they've gone, whether they've, they've decided to go somewhere else, but uh, or, or if the, the numbers have declined. Probably they have. Yeah. But uh, that, that's that's just. I'm putting a bit of that this this sky colour now into this, just to darken it near the foreground here, like this. Don't forget the lights from top left, so the, the shadow, shadow of this will be on the, this side of the ridge. And don't, don't, don't uh, go mad and print every little, every little uh, stubble. Just, just, we're just suggesting these things. And the viewer will fill it in for you, I'll tell you, I promise you. So that, that's, that's taking our eye to, to the, into the into the church, into the important bit, and uh, let that dry for a bit. And these sides we can we can deal with this a bit. Let's see, put a bit more dark onto that near the foreground here. Put some. This is this sort of stuff. I, you don't 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 know what it is. It, it just it's just it hasn't been ploughed, has it? So that looks a bit uh, unploughed. That's the that's the word I'm looking for. Unploughed. Same with this side. This will be all twiddly stuff. And it's fallow. I think that's called that's what we call it, isn't it? I'm sure these farmers will go mad when they they are on talking about. Because they know what they're talking about, see, I don't. But it just, and I'm trying to keep it to the foreground because it, uh, it keeps the, it keeps the eye in the foreground. Put some, I've got some of that, that uh, this sky colour in the bottom here. Well, some of this down here, this, this will bring the eye forward. And what you're doing then is you're looking over this into the, into your distance. Which is you're trying to create that, that, three-dimensional feel about it. I say just have a good twiddle on this, don't 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 try and draw grass or anything like that, just just suggest it. Right. I'll better dry that bit. And then we can I can see what there's there's that also that 
tree uh, outside the churchyard and that one's painted in so we'll see where we're going from there Do. It's still a bit wet, it didn't matter. But I'll do that little tree there now because it's 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 annoying me just stood there doing nothing. Let's uh I think we'll paint the we'll paint the greenery in first. As I showed you in the one we did we we did painting the trees. I put the green in first and then the trunk, didn't I? So let's Let's see what we've got with this. So here's the green and it's got about here like this. Huh? It's, it's not a big tree, it's just a, I don't know, it's just grown from a seed or something like this. Need some holes for the birds to fly through. They need that. Right now, that that's the, the, the a base colour, if you like. You, we've got to put the don't forget this, the the darks. We've got to put the darks in, haven't we? Because the sunlight is to the left. We need to darken it. So the darks will be under under here, won't they? on the underside of this and on the right hand side because that's away from the sun. Down here it will be dark. to do now, I don't like that bit there. That's it, I've got it rid of it. Uh, we can put the trunk in now, can't we? So let's drop the trunk in. I'll paint this a, a dark trunk, I think. Using that uh, sky colour again, that ultramarine and burnt umber. So useful it is, you can use it for all sorts. in here. Because it'll grow up through there, won't it, then go up. You'll see it up here like that. Little bits of it. I told you earlier then that when we did the trees, this is a way of not having to paint all the tree, all the all the branches. Or you just paint the bits you can see, which is good. That'll do. That'll do. Right, I think what we'll do, we want to put in, uh, I will cast a shadow here, wouldn't it? Because the light's from there, but we'll cast a shadow from there. I know we will. So it'll be shaded down here, won't it?
Right, I think we can start looking for little bits to do, to twiddle with. Uh, so, I just want to sort of, down this, this foreground here, what you can do is, is stick up a touch of, just a touch of stubble in this foreground so you know what you're doing. You can, you can show that because it's, it's close. It also helps to lead the eye into the painting, doesn't it? Don't go, don't go too far up, or, it, or it, it, it looks crackers if you do too much. As I say, the the view will fill it in for you. If you just lead the eye to where it's going, they'll fill it in. You can twiddle on like this. Therapeutic, this. Of course, you've got to do them all. You can't, you can't do just the odd one. Let's do one down here. But you'll see that the, the, the we saw the last we did on, on perspective, these, these, these furrows or, or, or harvested lines follow perspective don't they? they they go into the distance and narrow like railway lines so that's most important as well so uh, that's all part of the all part of the plan so we'll cross here like this Oops. So on the edge here. I've got some of these darks, you can start, you can put these darks in here as well, you see. Where these bits are down here. Closes it down a bit, this, down this corner here. And by closing it down, it's 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 bringing it forward. So there's all sorts of rubbish down here. And I've got some stuff left on my palette, so I'm going to use it. I'm not wasting it. Here. It's that little rig, it's a lovely little brush, you know. So that's closing that down. It's, 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 we're going to the distance now. Uh, I better dry this a bit because I want to do a little bit more on that uh, on the shadows on the church. Hold your ears a bit, that bitch. Shadows. I want the shadows on that church. That's important. So the colours I want to mix is the is the ultramarine and the burnt umber, which is uh, the reason I use those colours, by the way. But they they're, they make a lovely grey, a lovely. Uh, but also the, the the main reason is is both those colours are transparent. They got they're transparent colours, and therefore. What the shadow is on, it, the underlying colour will still shine through. So it's important that but you might use different ones and, and not get the same effect. So it's important to get the 
get the right colours that are transparent. That's that's it is important that. And uh, we'll uh, we'll have a look from these shadows now. I just now I've got a bit of test paper here. See, I'd always like to test my, my colours on there to make sure we've got the right colour. Because I can change it by, by doing that, but I can't change it when it's gone on the painting. Well, let's see, there's lights from there, isn't it? So this, this side of the buttress is going to be in shade, isn't it? And of course, that, the underside, this, this, uh, this what, don't know what they call it, but it's, it's, it's the sticky out bit here will be in shade there, won't it? And we'll get shade uh, shade under this, this overhang here, just here, we'll get some shade on that. And we'll also get some shade on this side of the building here, look, this. This will be in shade, won't it? Important that behind the wall. And this buttress here on the right hand side will also be in shadow, won't it? Some of these pillars will be in shade, just here, like let's see where the, the pillars are. I think that roof, I'm not sure about it. it'd be a bit shadowy on that roof, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? If I did that. Put that in shade there. Make that a bit darker. That'd be nice. Uh, I don't think that will be. Uh, You, I mean, I'm, I'm splitting hairs now, but, but but if you really wanted to, you could put some under that that door there, and you could put some under here. But uh, you, you got to be careful. You got to be careful, or you'll just go and, and ruin it altogether. Probably some shadows on these trees here. As it goes across the. Some shadows down here. Shadows down here. And of course that end of that uh, that shed, that garden shed will be in shade, won't it? Just there. It's important. And of course the, uh, I mean, I'm putting any people in, haven't I? Should I put some people in? Uh, I don't like that. There's something in the sky there, which I don't like. Oh, it's, I'd have to do that. But uh, we could. It'd be nice to put a, a couple of a couple of crows in, wouldn't it? Oh, not two, three, three crows. How's that? Not, not, no. You know, either one or three. So I think we'll have. We'll have th look for the look for a dodgy bit in the sky, and then then pop a crow in there. Um, and our crows, don't forget, are different to seagulls because these are a V, like that. The information those two, they will have one, one about here. Uh, why not? I mean, I'm, 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 I'm messing about now, but but what people sometimes like, and it, it's a bit twee, but but it, it might it might you can leave them out if you want. Is at this time of the year, what you can get is this sort of thing. See, it, it's it's. It's poppy time, isn't it? So we, we might get a few poppies down there. I mean, I, I know it's it's a bit twee, but uh, but 
but somebody might like it. I'm just just giving you a little example of what's what. And of course, poppies have got like a black eye, haven't they? So we need to put some of that in. Put a black eye in. So you can go mad and, and fill it as a full pop poppy feel, but uh, I, I don't know. I think it's, you'd lose the plot with that. Uh, I, we'll put one person in just to give it a bit of scale. Uh, we'll, we'll put Fred in. Fred. He, he, Fred is, is he wears his jumper all the time. He does. This is his red jumper, and of course Fred. will we'll, if you think about his perspective and size, he's got to be. That wall is about about, ooh, in old money, about two foot six high, or whatever that is in centimetres, I'm not sure. But, but well, we can say he's, he's stood outside here and he, he's, he's contemplating whether to go into church or not. So he's stood here like this. Nice lad. That's his jumper. He's got his arm up waving to somebody. Put him his trousers on. Because he's a... He likes his trousers. Well, we all do. Pop him. See, I can just reach over then pop his and... Pop him a pair of trousers on. Snake hips. That'll do. He, he, he stood there, wondering where to ring the bell or not. And uh, I, I'm looking for things to do now, and, and this is the time to pull the brush down nearly. I, there's just a little, little bit I want to put on this side here. This is a bit dark here, and I want to put it dark in. That's better. Let's just close that down a bit. Right. But just a touch more on there on this this here is this is in shade. This shade a bit here. I think that'll do. Right, well that is our lesson number, I think, eight, isn't it? Or, or, or nine. This is our Haveringland Church, which is in Norfolk. It's a beautiful place. And uh, oh, you've enjoyed painting this one with us. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, give us a like or a subscribe. And I look forward to painting the next one with you. For now, it's goodbye. Bye-bye.